Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. A friend of mine doesn't want to get married. Recent, she has a family history of cancer. So during her childhood, she saw her mother suffering from breast cancer. So she doesn't want her children or husband to go through that pain, which she underwent. So when I came to know about this, and I felt very bad. And it's one of those worst things to live a life of fear. It's like a death sentence. So I'm dedicating this video to her and thousands of other people who are living with similar fears. Let me tell you this, without a shadow of a doubt, our DNA is not our destiny. We are not victims of our heredity. Now, as kids, we were taught in our biology classes that our DNA and genes are everything. You know, it's part of our everyday conversation. It's in my genes, you know, good genes, bad genes. It's in my DNA, right? So we all heard people saying this, you know, this disorder runs in my family. But the latest research on this subject says it's not always true. We can change the gene expressions. We can reprogram our genes. The science is called epigenetics. You know, there is this gene called BRCA1, which is associated with breast cancer. The gene which my friend is scared of. So 50% of women with this gene end up getting breast cancer. But you know what, the 50%, the other 50% with this gene, they don't get this. 50 percentage, it's a big percentage, right? The gene alone is not causing the cancer. There's higher probability if you have that gene, but there is no evidence that everyone with BRCA1 gene will get cancer. So what's the difference between the one that ones that get and others? The answer is in epigenetics. Now just imagine a Christmas tree with lights, you know, colorful lights. The lights blink you know, based on the setting. The gene expression in our body is like that. You may have the gene, but to blink or not to blink, it's a setting, which is in our control. The good news is we can influence this setting and we have the power to regulate this. Epigenetics is a study of how our behaviors, mindset, perception, and environment can cause changes that affect the way our genes work. There are hundreds of scientific documents on this. Cancer was the first human disease to be linked to epigenetics. If you look at two identical twins, okay, both sharing the same genome, why is that one dies at 56 and the other dies at 96? It's their environment, the choices that they make, the behaviors that they demonstrate, how they respond to stress, you know, stress shut down the immune system, how resilient they are, which determines their longevity. Genes are same, but their patterns of expressions are different. So there is both good news and bad news. The, good, the bad news is even if you don't have certain genes, say cancer-causing genes or you know, diabetes, you can get those ailments because of poor lifestyle habits and choices. The good news is you don't have to be a victim of bad genes. We have the power to change the setting by changing our behavior, mindset, perception, belief system. You know, we can write a new destiny for ourselves. Genes don't create disease. It's the environment that signals the gene to create disease. It's like this, you know, genetics loads the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. There are two kinds of environment, okay? So external and internal environment. So which you know, we have to be mindful of, especially if you have a family history. So external environment factors are toxins, you know, chemicals, you know, pollution, things like that. But most important is our internal environment. Internal environment is uh, our emotions, thought patterns, our perceptions, our belief system. It can influence our body chemistry. Dr. Bruce Lipton, an internationally recognized stem cell biologist and the best-selling author of the book, The Biology of Belief, did a lot of research on epigenetics. His research at Stanford University School of Medicine revealed that the environment influences the behavior and physiology of our cells. So when you look at ourselves, you know, you're not a single entity, but you are a community of trillions of cells. Every cell is intelligent, but when they are in a community, they give up their personal intelligence and respond to the central voice in that community, which is nothing but our thoughts and emotions. 
So when they say that our genes affect our destiny, basically what it means is we carry forward the thoughts, belief system, values, behaviors, lifestyle habits, foot patterns of our parents. There's a programming, a strong blueprint, which we can actually break by, by conscious effort, by not acting and behaving like our parents. So how you think and how you feel create your state of being and your body chemistry. So people normally wake up every day morning and run the same pattern of thoughts and emotions, familiar feelings and thoughts. It creates more of same chemicals. Interestingly, if you analyze closely, you'll realize that most of our values, beliefs, thought patterns came from our parents. In our body, when we are living by the same emotion every day, we are stimulating the same genes every single day. The, inter the internal environment of our body is sending specific signals to the cells and the cells are getting the same instructions and the same instructions produce the same proteins. As a result, you get the same disease as your parent. You are headed for a genetic destiny because there is no new information. There is no new pattern. You are not breaking the pattern. You are having the same organizing beliefs of your parents. So the secret is to change this conditioned pattern by thinking different, acting different, eating different, making changes in your lifestyle. You know, that will change your gene expression. Epigenetics you know, is a term, is a recent discovery, right? but this concept was there for hundreds of years, especially in the spiritual wisdom traditions of the world. If you join any ashram, say if you want to become a monk, the first thing they ask you to do is to change your identity and behavior patterns. Because if you want to evolve spiritually, it is not possible with your old genes. They don't use the word genes, of course, you know, they, they use the word samskara. They will suggest practices to burn your old samskaras, old habits, old behavior patterns from your family, from your parents. They will give you a new name, you know, Swami Samananda, right? So different dressing. You have to shave your head and your environment, environment will be completely different from your past, from your parents. And your behavior will be very different. You, know, you, you meditate for hours, which will result in neuroplasticity. New neural pathways are created in your brain. And you'll become a different person in, in a couple of months. So this is a classic example of epigenetics. You go beyond your genes and you'll become a spiritually evolved person. You go beyond your family history. So to conclude, the message I want to share with all of you is we are not doomed by our genes. We can become a genetic engineer. Our genes can be reprogrammed by our conscious effort. If the genome is the hardware, then the epigenome is the software. You can load any software and you get results based on what you install. So imagine a kid is getting a mobile phone used to buy his or her parent. And the phone is loaded with application, software, and data. Now the kid has two choices. Use the same phone in the same way, use the same apps, and get the same result like their parents. Or delete all unwanted apps, install productive things, and use it in a different way. The kid has a choice. In the same way, we all have a choice. If you believe that genes control your life, you're a victim of your heredity. See, don't get me wrong. If you have good genes from your parents and you know things like that, don't change that. You know, follow your parents, their lifestyle, their behavior. You'll have, you'll live a great life. But if you don't want something, the point I'm trying to convey here is we have the power to change. You are unique. No other person has ever possessed the exact genetic structure that is you, and never will. Your DNA is not your destiny. We can move away from victim to mastery, from genetic to epigenetic. Thank you so much for watching. I am Srijit Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.